Gurudev Pranam. Pranam. Gurudev, today's sutra is Samadhi Siddhi Ishwar Pranidhanath. The same sutra you had explained in Samadhi Padatsu. To achieve Samadhi, one has to surrender unto God. So these two are similar, Gurudev? Yes. No, it doesn't matter. Yes. Uh, Ishwara, Ish means to control. Ishwara means the one who is controlling the universe. Every aspect, every iota is being regulated by him. So that is Ishwara. And this Ishwara is not seen with our visible eyes, the eyes, our normal eyes, eyesight. It doesn't come within the normal eyesight. It has to be realized within the heart. We have a vision within ourselves and in that it comes, it appears, it reveals itself. So, Ishvara Pranidhana. Pranidhana means worship. Pranidhana means worship. In whatever way you worship, God is Pranidhan. Ishra Pranidhan. So this worship has to be done every day. Yama Niyama. Niyama is a regular daily conduct. Niyama is a daily conduct. In the daily conduct, Ishra Pranidhana is an important factor. You understand? So, because uh, God has created. He is the creator of the universe. He is the creator of life. He is the giver of life, giver of mind, giver of everything. So, to remember Him is the best worship. To remembrance, God. Remembrance. That's why Vasudev uh, says the chanting mantra and, it, and its meaning Om. Om. Om chanting is the best. Uh, Ishwar Pranidhan, he says. But actually, Ishwar Pranidhan can be done in many ways, many different ways. In Hindu family, every day in the morning, they uh, sit in the puja kotha, puja room, and then worship, you know, by ringing bells, by blowing conch, you know. These are also part of Ishwar Pranidhan. Remembering God at that moment, what we are doing, we are, we are worshipping God. We are present in the presence of God. So the feeling oneself in the presence of God is Ishwar Pranidhan. In every situation of life, pleasure and pain, adverse situation or favorable situation, whatever, uh, if you can surrender yourself to God, the God, Lord, I am thy servant, I, I am unto thy refuse, yeah, please take care of me, I am at, at your feet, I am at your feet, God save me, protect me. So that way, if you pray, prayer is also Isha Pranidham. In Christian society they pray, the prayer is also Isha Pranidham. Worshipping, prayer, all this is a pranidhan. Samadhi, Shiddhi, is a pranidhan, adba. Samadhi. What is Samadhi? We understand Samadhi means concentration. Deep concentration is Samadhi. Concentration is practiced. It's the matter of practice. So, after practicing Samadhi, is to be surrendered to God because it has also an ego. Practicing concentration may also have a little bit of ego, you know, there is a sort of tinge of ego in the uh, practicing concentration also. That will also be vanished by the surrender, surrender to God, you know, surrendering to the divine. So self-surrender to divine in every situation, pleasure, pain, every situation, good, bad, up and down, no? Life has ups and downs, 
life is not easy it's not straight it's not all bed of roses you know so it has many ups and downs many difficulties uh, every time we have some suffering some kind of suffering some kind of suffering some kind of suffering in these sufferings and also we have pleasure we have joy we have uh, you know many 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 um, uh, favorable and pleasurable situations so in these situations good or bad when you surrender yourself to god that is ishwar pranidhan by ishwar pranidhan what do you do samadhi becomes siddhi and samadhi becomes perfect samadhi is so the tinge of ego the tinge of ego and tinge of uh, thinking is all out by ishwar pranidhan because when were you surrender yourself to god your thinking is not there it is possible that the body should be genuine genuinely surrendered to god not just by mouth you know sharanagatam sharanagatam no real sharanagatam it should be the real sharanagatam coming to god's refuge would it be possible to say ब्रह्मी दो God-oriented people, Ishwar-oriented people, Ishwar. Uh, they 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 believe in different forms of God, you know, different forms of God. But Brahma Badis believe in the reality. The tree is Brahma, ah, huh? the bird is Brahma, the cow is Brahma, the dog is Brahma. You know, uh, everything that comes before the eyes is Brahma. So th- that kind of sadhana is a different kind of sadhana, but. it's an another same similar but not actually called ishe pranidhan is called brahma sadhana is named is different 200 kinds of sweets are made from uh, milk mm. but names are different you know mm. taste also are different would the purpose of Ashtanga Yoga is to realize God or to achieve Samadhi. This is the reality. And here it is said that Samadhi, Siddhi, Ishwar Pradhanat. So if by surrendering unto God, we realize the God directly or we achieve Samadhi, we achieve the state of Samadhi, then can we not practice direct Ishwar Pradhan by giving up uh, Yam Niyam, other Yam Niyam? other yamniyams no if you do if you practice ishwar pranidhan direct mm-hmm. ishwar pranidhan indirectly you are following yam or yam mm-hmm. because you are worshiping god at the same time you cannot lie mm-hmm. at the same time you cannot uh, be cruel mm-hmm. to somebody somebody you know unnecessarily mm-hmm. you cannot be angry also mm-hmm. so naturally you are indirectly following yam or yam So Ishwar Pranidhan is the most important, I think. You know, mm-hmm. what you have said mm-hmm. is right. Ishwar Pranidhan is the most important thing. If you follow Ishwar Pranidhan properly, you know, genuinely, mm-hmm. and devotion comes from within, you feel the devotion within, then naturally you will not uh, do all the immoral things. You know, uh, out of court things. So Ishwar Pranidhan it covers. Other Everything. parts of Ashtanga Yoga, uh, uh, indirectly covers, but it doesn't mean that uh, you d- that you don't have to take care. You have to take care the whether you are following uh, the moral principles properly or not. Mm-hmm. But Ishwar Pranidhan helps. So, good then, uh, Ishwar Pranidhan is a part of Raj Yoga or it is a part of Bhakti Yoga. It's a part of. Rajyog at the same time bhakti yoga. Rajyog is including every yoga. So that is called this Rajyog yoga. 
Raja Yoga doesn't mean that the kings only practice Raja Yoga. Raja. Raja Yoga means the, the king of the yogas. All sorts of yogas are there. That this is the king. Why it is the king? It has every element in it. Gyan Yoga also is there. Karma Yoga is also there. Bhakti Yoga is also there. I mean, part by part it is there, but basically it is internal practice, mental practice. Raja Yoga is mental practice. Thank you, Gurudev. Thank you.